James Orman, end assembly. Yeah, I think he just struggled to run the mile today, so maybe back in trip. We've got Jason Collett, the racketeer. Uh, yeah, lit up. Just wanted to go a bit strong. We've got Justin Huxtable on pay and bar. Yeah, uh, obviously stepping up to the mile is going to um, hopefully naturally be a pair closer than what he has his races in, but um, he was just steady away today. But didn't concern me when the race was run genuine tempo. Um, the way the horse travelled in past the 600 into the top of the straight, I thought it was a genuine chance in the race, but just didn't unleash his uh, turn of foot that I know he's got. I think uh, it's time for the paddock. Okay, thanks, mate. Boris Thornton on um, Soothsayer. Yeah, huge job for this bloke. Very proud of him. Um, so he beat about a head and ran third, so a bit stiff, but you know he's got that real good turn of foot. It's good to see him use it today, and he's knocking on the door for next start. Sure, thanks, mate. Damien Thornton on Betcha the Crown. Yeah, he's just not mature enough for these races yet. Thanks, mate. Benny Thompson, Yellow Brick. Yeah, he was great in defeat. We were there to beat him. Um, I just let him relax where he was happy. I wanted to stay in a spot off the fence to go when we wanted. We followed the second horse, who's followed the winner, and straightened up with two length enough to make up, and couldn't reel him in. Martin Harley on Brookhaven. Yeah, I was very pleased. That was a solid run. Um, you know, he's, he's been behind Yellow Brick a few times and not been that far away, so credible run, and I do think he's a horse, when he gets over a bit more distance in time, he'll be even nicer.